Hi everybody, it's Crystal. Welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to crochet this doily as part of my, this is the uh, third doily of my doily series. Please check out my other ones if you have not. Um, this one is actually extremely easy to do. Uh, they all are. They're all easy to do. Um, so if you look closely, it has some popcorn stitches. Not bobbles, not puffs, but popcorns. If you don't know how to do them, I'll show you how to do them. They're extremely easy to do. Um, little bitty clusters, extremely easy to do. We got some chain spaces here and some shells and some little popcorns up here to, you know, tie them at the bottom. I was going to make, uh, veer it off into pineapples, but I kind of want it, 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 it's 15 inches across right now. So that's about how big this one is. Um, I kind of wanted, uh. I think I'm, I am going to do a pineapple, of course, um, I did a pineapple butterfly was my last one, but, uh, I'm going to maybe do an oval pineapple or a round one. I just decided that it wasn't going to be this one. This one is just going to be like a popcorn, a popcorn doily. It's it, like I said, it's extremely easy. Um, it's doubles, triples. If you can double single and triple, I'll show you how to do the rest, all right? It's it's extremely, extremely easy to do. So why don't we go ahead and talk about the yarn that I use. Now, the yarn that I use is actually mill, mill and yarn that I got from um, Hershner's. But what this is, a this is a yarn art, um, a flowers and alpaca cake. So it's alpaca um, in acrylic mix. So if you see little hairs in it while I'm crocheting, <laughs> crocheting, that's not dog or cat hair. That's alpaca hair coming off of the, coming off the yarn. Um, let me set this aside. And the weight on this one, I think I would classify that as a lighter, eh, a light three or just a three. Yeah, whatever you guys think there. But that's what I use. And I probably used about, I don't know. I guess the popcorns take a bit. If I had to guess. Can I give you, I'm going to give you this, uh, a wild guesstimate because <laughs> I used that ball there. Um, to, to 150 yards, I'm certain we'll, we'll do it of a three weight. I mean, that's a guess, remember, because I took it out of that ball there. Um, here, that ball, this ball has a thousand yards in it. So I pretty much took the whole center color and I started working on the next color. So whatever you think, um. Yeah, 200 yards to do it. I'm certain 200 yards to do it. So, but remember, you don't have to use the the a, a three-way. You can use a thread if you'd like. And it would just be a smaller doily. Um, it would be beautiful. Um, yeah, you can use, you know, thread, one weight, two weight, three weight, four weight. doesn't matter. Um, but for the three-weight that I use here, I used a size G, which is a... Uh, some are some G's are four millimeters and some are 4.25. Um, but yes, that is what I use now. If you use a different size yarn, I would just use whatever the hook size that corresponds with your uh ball band, whatever it says to use, would probably be just fine. So, you guys want to do it? You got this, it's super simple, don't worry about it. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do it all. It's so easy, it's mainly just a bunch of chain spaces and some doubles and triples. Don't worry about these popcorns, you're going to see how easy those are too if you don't know how to do them. You're going to learn right now, all right? Let's do it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start off with a slip knot on our hook. You can use the magic circle here if you prefer. Okay. I'm going to work a chain of... Three. One, two, three. I'm going to slip stitch back into the first stitch, form a ring. And that is what I'm going to be working my stitches into, this ring here. Alright, I'm going to chain one, which does not count as a stitch. And through the center of the ring, I'm going to work 12 uh, double crochets. So I'm going to yarn over, go into the ring, drop a loop. And then I will work my double crochet. That's not a double, that was a half. I'm sorry. Yarn over and go into the ring. Drop a loop and work my double crochet. 
as normal. So there's one. I'm going to do that 12 times. There's two. There's three. There's four. And I'll meet back up. <clears throat> excuse me. I'll meet back up with you with 12. All right. So I'm coming to the end of round one and I have 12 double crochets here. I'm going to go ahead and by slip stitching into my first double. And we'll go ahead and we'll start round two. All right. Pull that tail, close up that center circle a little bit more. All right, so I'm going to start with the chain one, which does not count as a stitch. I'm going to work um, a uh, double crochet uh, two together in this very first stitch here. So I'm going to yarn over. I'm going to go into this very first stitch that we slip stitched into. I'm going to drop a loop. I'm going to yarn over and go through the first two loops only. And I'm going to yarn over and go into the same stitch again. Drop a loop. I'm going to yarn over and go through the first two loops only. That will leave me with three loops left on my hook. I'm going to yarn over and go through all three. Just like that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to chain one actually. I'm sorry. And then I'm going to do that in the next stitch as well. So I'm going to yarn over. Go into the next stitch and draw up a loop. Yarn over and go through the first two loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over and go into the exact same stitch again. Draw up a loop. Yarn over and go through the first two loops only. I have three loops that remain. I'm going to yarn over and go through all three loops just like that. And then I'm going to chain one. This is what I'm going to repeat for round two all the way around. I'm going to jump to the next stitch. And I'm going to go yarn over and go into it and draw up a loop. Yarn over and go through the first two loops only. I'm going to yarn over and go through the same stitch again and draw up a loop. Yarn over and go through the first two loops. Three loops for main. Yarn over and go through all three. And chain one. So I'm going to repeat this pattern all the way around. And I'll meet back up with you at the end of round two. All right, I'm coming to the end of round two and you should have 12 of these uh, double crochet two togethers with the chain one in between them. Make sure you chain one after that last one and we'll go ahead and end round two by slip stitching into the top of our first double crochet two together. And that one round two. Let's go ahead and start round three. We're going to chain one and we're going to go back into um, the same stitch right here and we are going to work a uh, double crochet right into the top of that stitch. Just one, okay? Just like that. Now we're going to work into the chain one space. We're going to be working a popcorn stitch. A um, uh five double crochet popcorn um, popcorn stitches can be made with any amount of double crochets um it's most common to use five so i think we'll go ahead and use five here all right so i did a double crochet into that very first stitch there um i'm gonna go ahead and chain one after that like that and then in this chain one space here i am going to work the uh popcorn stitch i'm gonna show you how we do that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna work five double crochets through that chain one space, all right? So make sure you chain one right there. And then in this space, we're just gonna work five doubles. So there's one, two, there's three, four, and there's five doubles into that chain one space. Now to, to do the popcorn, go ahead and pull your loop up and take your hook out of it and come back to the very first double crochet of the five not this double crochet here all right we we're not gonna we'll deal with them later the very first double crochet of the five and, and just put your hook into the top of it like that and then the hook or the loop here that you took your hook off of put your put your hook back on it 
and then take your main yarn pull it down on tight on your hook like that and now all you got to do is slide that loop through the first uh, stitch like that give it just a little bit of a tug and chain one to lock it and there is your popcorn stitch all right, now we're going to go into the next stitch, this double crochet, uh, two together. We're going to put a double crochet, just one double crochet into the top of it like that. And then we're going to chain one and then we're going to work a popcorn right here again into the next chain one space. So again, into this chain one space, we're going to work five double crochets. There's one, two, there's three, four, and a five. Pull a loop up. And we go back into the very first stitch of the five doubles, like that. Put the loop back on your hook. Pull down your main yarn like that. Take that loop and just slide it through that first stitch there. Give it a little bit of a tug. Chain one to lock it, and there is the popcorn again. All right, and that's what we're going to repeat all the way around. So we're going to double crochet again right here into the top of our next double crochet two together. Make sure you chain one after that, and popcorn again into the next chain one space. Five double crochets into the space. There's one, two, three, four, five, pull up a loop, get your first double crochet of the five, go into the top of it like that, put that loop right back on your hook, and when you took off, pull down on your yarn like that, and take that loop and pull it straight through that first stitch, give it a little bit of a tug, Chain one to lock. There's your popcorn. And then again, we're going to double crochet into the top of the next double crochet two together. And make sure you chain one after that and repeat. So this is the pattern that we're going to repeat all the way around for round three. I'll see you at the beginning. All right, so I come to the end of round three here. You should have uh, 12 of the popcorns. Yep, 12 of the uh, double crochets. And your last stitch should have been a popcorn. Make sure you chain one afterwards. We're going to go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first double crochet. And that will end round three. What we're going to do now is slip stitch over to this chain one space. The very first chain one space. And we are going to start with a chain one that does not count as a stitch. In this chain one space, we're going to work popcorn, all right? We're going to go back into it, and we're going to work five double crochets. There's one, two, three, four, and one more makes five. And then we're going to do our popcorn here just like we've been doing going back into that first double putting that loop back on our hook pulling it through like that give it a little bit of a tug let's chain two this time okay we're going to do a chain two what we're going to do now is jump over this popcorn and in this next chain one space in between this first popcorn here and this uh, double crochet we're going to do another popcorn all right so we're going to go into that space right there see it and do a uh, popcorn again so there's one two three four five
Okay. So we got another popcorn right there. Chain two. And we're gonna jump right here into the next chain one space right after this double. And we're gonna do another popcorn. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna be doing popcorn stitches in every chain one space all the way around with a chain two in between them this time. Remember chain two this time. And you find your next chain one space. So there's a chain one space after every popcorn and after every double crochet. After the popcorn and after the double crochet. And that's where we're putting our popcorn stitches, all right? And every single one of those chain one spaces from the previous row. And remember that we're chaining two between the popcorns this time instead of one. So this is what I'm going to repeat all the way around. What are we on now? Round four. One, two, three. Yeah, round four. Remember, one popcorn in each chain one space from the previous row. Make sure that you chain two after each popcorn this time around. And I will meet back up with you at the end of row four. Two and right here, do another. So that's what it starts to look like there. All right, see you right here in a second. All right, so I'm coming to the end of round four here, and um, make sure that you uh, chain two after your last popcorn here. And you should have 24 popcorns and chain space, chain two spaces as well. Um, we're going to end by slip stitching into this chain two space over here. So we're just going to bypass this first popcorn and slip stitch into the chain two space. Like that, okay? So we did a... Uh, Skip that popcorn all together like it like it didn't even exist. All right <laughs> So that's what you got so far. How about now we uh Why don't we do a uh, Chain one Go back into the space right here. Let's chain two space single crochet One time, okay like that and, and then why don't we work a chain of um, five. One, two, three, four, five. And why don't we go to the next chain two space and single crochet into that, like that. And we're gonna work another chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And jump to our next chain two space right here in between the popcorns and a single crochet. And this is what we're going to repeat for round five. Chain five. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Is that right? Oh my god. One, two, three. Yeah. And then a single crochet into the chain two space in between the popcorns. One, two, three, four, five. And single crochet. In between get in that chain two space right there so we're gonna do a chain chain five single crochet in between the each of the uh, popcorns where that chain two space is all the way around I'll meet back up with you all right alrighty I'm coming to the end of round five so I just single crocheted here into my last chain two space and here is where we started um, now, if you would count your chain five spaces, you would only have 23 at the at this point. We need 24 for our count to be accurate. So we're gonna have to chain five again. One, two, three, four, five. 
and then we're going to end by slip stitching right here into our first single crochet that we made and that will end row five there we go and like i said you should have 24 of these chain five spaces um why don't we go ahead and slip stitch into this uh yeah yeah let's slip stitch into this chain space like that and why don't we do it again why don't we chain one go back into the chain space this is round six that we're on and single crochet like that and why don't we do the uh chain fives again yeah, 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 we'll do chains five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and then we're gonna come to the next thing or the next chain five space. We're just going to single crochet into the chain five space, like that. All right, and then we're gonna chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Jump to the to the chain five space and chain five right into the space. All right, single crochet right into the space. I'm sorry like that yeah i think that's gonna work out all right then we're gonna chain five one two three four five jump over here to our next chain of five space and single crochet so we're gonna do this all the way around for round six we're just uh, kind of doing the same thing except for we're single crocheting into the chain five spaces this time instead of the chain two spaces all right uh, yeah yeah all right i'm gonna go all the way around and i'll meet back up with you here at our starting point all right coming to the end of round six and we have to end it the same way so we have 24 chain spaces in my last one here i did single crochet here's my first one so i need to do a chain of five and we're going to end by slip stitching into our first single crochet and again you should have 24 chain spaces at the end of round six and let's look here why don't we go ahead and start mm -hmm, mm -hmm. round seven round seven let's uh all right let's slip stitch into the chain space this uh next chain space here do a slip stitch um Let's chain one. Okay. All right. So what we're gonna do now, and we're gonna we're gonna work into this chain space right here. Um, we're gonna work a double crochet. No, no, we're not gonna do that. I'm sorry. Let's uh chain two instead of instead of chaining one we're going to chain two now that chain two doesn't count as a stitch or anything it's just i'm going to do a triple crochet and i need to get a little bit of height so that chain two doesn't count let's do a triple crochet into the chain space there's one two three so that's my triple i'm going to slide it over remember that chain two doesn't count as a stitch all right just give me give me a little bit of height there and then i'm going to chain two I'm going to go back into the same space and triple crochet again. One, two, three. Okay. I'm going to chain two. One, two. Triple crochet again into the same chain space. So let's see what we got here. We got, uh, let's do it one more time. Chain two and triple crochet into the same chain space and we'll take a quick peek and see what we got okay so we have a triple chain two triple chain two triple chain two triple so you should have three chain two spaces and four triple crochets and now we're going to jump to the next uh chain by space here and we're just going to work one triple crochet A chain of two and one more triple crochet into that spot so that's just going to be a triple crochet v stitch it's a single one like that and then we're going to kind of repeat this all the way around so 
in the next chain five space here, we're going to do what we did right here, minus that chain two. Um, so we're going to go into it and we're going to do a triple crochet. There's one and then we're going to chain two. And then we're going to go back into it and triple crochet. So that's two triples and we're going to chain two. We're going to go back in it again and a triple crochet and chain two. So that's three triples we did. Chain two, one more. Triple crochet again like that. And that is what we have. We have um, four triples with three chain two spaces. And then again, we're going to jump to the next one and just do the uh, single uh, triple crochet V stitch. So that's, we're just going to do a triple crochet, chain two, and a triple crochet into the next chain five space. Just like that. So we're going to re just repeat this pattern all the way around here again in the next chain five space. We'll do it again. We're going to work a triple crochet, a chain of two, another triple that makes my yarn split, my yarn split. Okay. Triple crochet, chain two, another triple and a chain two. So that's two triples, chain two and two chain twos, another triple, chain two, and one more triple. So that makes four triples and three chain two spaces there, just like the others. And then the next one, we're just going to do the one triple crochet, a chain of two, and one more triple crochet. So this is the pattern that we're going to repeat now for round uh, seven. You can kind of see it emerging. So the next chain space will get the uh, four triples with the three chain twos in between them. And then the next chain two space will just get the two triples and then one chain two. And then we'll just keep repeating that pattern all the way around and I'll meet back up with you here at our last chain space. All right, so I'm coming to the end of round seven and you should end it with a triple chain two triple into this last chain five space. And we're gonna finish the round out by slip stitching into our first triple crochet, not that chain two, ignore that chain two, like it wasn't even there. All right, there we go, end round seven. Okay, why don't we start round eight? Mm -hmm. Let's slip stitch into this first chain two space. Okay, we're going to chain one, which does not count as a stitch. And we're going to work two double crochets into this chain two space. Doubles. So there's one double and there's two doubles. So we're going to jump to the next space. Now, if you look, remember this first one we did was a triple chain two, triple chain two, triple chain two, triple. So there were three chain two spaces. Okay. We just worked two double crochets into the first one. Now we're going to work in the next one, which is the middle of the three. We're going to jump right over to it and we're going to work a double crochet. And then we're going to chain two and go back and work a double crochet into that same spot like that and then we're going to come over here to the next chain two space and work two double crochets one and two so that's what we did there in that spot two doubles into the chain two space. Then we came over here and worked a double chain two double into that middle chain two space. And then two doubles into this chain two space. And now we're gonna jump over here where we just had a regular triple crochet V stitch. And we're gonna do this here. 
So into this V stitch here, this chain two space, we are going to triple crochet, chain two. Back in it again, and we're going to triple crochet, chain two. Again, triple crochet, chain two. One more time, a triple crochet into the same spot. So what we did there was the same that we did on the previous row. We have three chain two spaces and four triples. Now what we're gonna do is jump over here to our next spot, which is this, this is the same thing that we just did here. But what we're gonna do here now is what we did over here. <laughs> All right, so into, okay, this is the spot where we have the three chain two spaces. So in the first chain two space, we're gonna work two double crochets into it. So there's one and there's two. And then in the next chain two space, we're gonna work one double, a chain of two, and one more double into that same chain space. And then into the next chain two space of that set of three chain two spaces, two double crochets into that space. One and two, just like that. All right, now we're gonna jump over here again to where we have just our regular triple crochet V-stitch from the previous row. And we're going to do this the four triples with the three chain two spaces all into this spot. Triple crochet, chain two. Another triple crochet, chain two. Another a triple, chain two two and one more triple into the same space all right and that's what we're going to do in each one of these um regular triple crochet v stitches from the previous row and then again we're going to jump to the next space right here where we had the four triples on the previous row and the three chain two spaces we're going to do what we did on the other ones first chain two space gets two doubles so there's one and there's two. The next chain two space, which is the center one, gets a double, a chain of two, and a double. And then the last chain two space of the set gets two double crochets. So this is what I'm going to repeat all the way around for round eight now. So every time you see one of these regular V stitches here, triple crochet V stitches, it gets this. Um, the four triples with the three chain twos in between them. And then every time, and then next up will be that. The three triples with the two chain two spaces, or three chain two spaces, one, two, three. And it's going to get this. Two doubles in the first one, one double, chain two, one double into the middle one, and then two doubles into the next one. And we're gonna repeat this pattern all the way around until we make it back to our starting point. All right, all right, see you in a second. All right, so I'm coming to the end of round. Sorry, keep losing track. Round eight here. So your last uh, stitch here now should have been the uh, four triples with the three chain two spaces. And we'll go ahead and end by slip stitching here into our first double crochet. And that will end around eight. And we'll go ahead and start around nine. Uh, with a chain one 
and we're going to go back into that very same stitch and we're going to do a single crochet into that double right there and then we're going to go to the next double crochet and do a single crochet and then we're going to jump over here we're going to to this chain two space so we're going to skip this double here and go directly into the chain two space and we're going to work one double a chain of one and one more double into that space and then we're going to skip this double crochet right here and put a single crochet in the next two doubles here so we're skipping this one and going here putting a single and then a single into the next like that okay now we're coming to this section here where we have four triples and two or um, three chain two spaces we're gonna skip this triple here and put two single crochets into the chain two space so there's one And two and then we're gonna the next chain two space is the center so we're gonna skip this triple and jump into the chain two space and we're gonna work one single a chain of two here and go back in and put one more single like that and then we're gonna skip this triple and in the into the last chain two space of the set we're gonna work two single crochets like that so this is what we're going to repeat all the way around so when we get to a set that is double crochets from the previous row we're going to work a single crochet in the first two doubles and then we're going to skip this double here and in this chain two space we're going to work one double crochet a chain of one and one more double crochet into that chain space and then we're going to skip this double crochet here and single crochet into the next two doubles Like that and then when you come to a set that is the triple crochets the four triples with the uh, three chain two spaces we're only working in the chain spaces so we get we will skip this triple here and we'll work two singles into the chain two space and skip this triple here in the next chain two space is the center one so in that space we're going to work one single a chain of two and then one more single into the same space and we skip this triple here and into the chain two space we work two singles just like that and we're going to repeat it again so we skip this triple and here we are at the section of double crochets we're going to put a single in the first two doubles so we remember we're not working on that triple and we're skipping this double and in the chain space we work a double crochet a chain of one and another double crochet into that space and then we skip this double and we single crochet into the next two doubles like that and here's our triple crochet crochet section here remember we don't work any single crochets into the triples we're only working into the chain two spaces on this section so we skip this triple here and we're going to work two singles into the chain two skip this triple and the next chain two is the center here so we're going to work one single 
chain two and one more single into that space skip this triple and in this chain space here two singles and this is what we're going to repeat all the way around skip in this triple single crochet into the next two doubles just like that so oh this is what it starts to look like you can see we got the little points here all right so we're going to repeat that pattern all the way around until we make it back to our starting point all right so i've come to the end of uh round nine and you should have a total of 144 stitches and then um 24 of the chain spaces whether it be the chain one or the chain two you should have 24 all together so you can kind of see they're kind of acting as points here all right okay let's go ahead and end this round nine and we will end it by slip stitching into our first single crochet like that all right so now we're going to start round 10 but we need, we need to start it in this first chain space right here so we need to slip stitch over one two three times to that first chain space so go ahead and slip stitch one there's two and one more you'll be in that space like that we're going to chain one and we're going to go back into that space and we're going to single crochet like that all right then we're going to work a chain of eight one two three four five six seven eight now you don't want it to be an extremely tight chain you know just kind of a normal one and then we're going to jump on over here to this next chain space kind of those little points that i was talking about and we're going to single crochet right into it like that okay and this is what we're going to do all the way around is uh chain eight again one two three four five six seven eight and then you find your next chain space right here and single crochet into that space so we're just going to be working chain eights all the way around. Again, chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're going to jump over here to find our next chain space, the next little point, and single crochet right into the space. Chain eight again. One, two, three four five six seven eight jump over to the next chain space and single crochet into it all right so i'm going to repeat this pattern of working in these chain eights all the way around and this single crocheting in these little these chain spaces okay and i'll meet back up with you at our starting point all right so i've come to the end of round 10 and I did my single crochet here in my last chain space, chain eight, and then I'm going to end by slip stitching into my first single crochet. Show 24 of these chain spaces. All right, now we're gonna start round 11. And I think we're gonna bring the popcorn back up and incorporate it up here. So let's go ahead and chain one. So we're going to do the popcorn, but we're going to drop down here into this chain space here. So we're going to work five double crochets into that space. So there's one, two, three, four, And there's five and now popcorn remember we pull out um the loop off our hook and come over here to the first double crochet of our group of five put your hook in it back into the loop and then you 
just pull that loop through like that give it just a little bit of a tug and we're going to chain one to lock it there we go all right so now into the chain space we're going to work some double crochets so i think we're going to work um let's work eight so there's one two three four five six seven and there's eight and it's okay they'll they'll spread out over that chain all right so there's eight and then we're going to do the popcorn again here at this single crochet but we're going to make it in the uh chain space from below so what we're going to do is go into that space and work our five double crochets so there's one just kind of work it right over that single crochet that's there two three four and there's five now we are going to pull that out and we're going to go make sure you go into the first of the five we don't want to go in into any of these eight doubles that we just put in the chain so that first of the five and then do your popcorn right there like that chain one to lock it and then we're going to go back into the next chain space and work eight double crochets so this is what we're going to repeat all the way around There's eight. Like I said, they'll spread over that chain space. And then we do our popcorn again down here into this chain space where that single crochet is at. So five doubles into that space. One, two, three. four five pull it up and get that first double crochet of the group of five and then go back get your loop pull it through chain one and then we will do the eight again and then the popcorn so this is what we're going to do all the way around and like i said these will go along your chain space as we do more rows all right so that's what we're going to do remember eight and then the popcorn eight and then the popcorn that's dropped down to that into that space all right i'll meet back up with you at the beginning all right i'm coming to the end here and what i'm going to do is end by slip stitching into the top of my first popcorn like that Let's see here. <laughs> I don't want to make it too big since I'm using a thicker weight yarn. I like it. I think it's pretty. And it, yeah, it's simple. All right, guys. I just went ahead and, you know, ended in a slip stitch and that popcorn. And I went ahead and tied off. Um, I was initially... Uh, gonna make it make it more intricate but you know what I want to keep this one simple so um I have a some more intricate doily designs coming up so this one I just kept pretty simple I think it's beautiful it turned out nice um 
and I cannot wait to see yours. So if you make this, please show me a picture on my Facebook page. There is a link to that below in the description box. And also, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss out on my doily series and everything. All the other, I got so many crochet tutorials. More than you could ever, ever need in a lifetime. And I continue to put them on all the time. Um, so, yes, hit that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. All right. I'll see you on my next one. Okay. Take care. Bye, guys.